Hey, it's Eric from Sticky Holsters, and we've had quite a few inquiries about wear and tear in our holsters, what's normal and what's not normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, wear and tear on the holster and what's normal uh, about it. So here's my holster that I've been personally carrying for well over a year and a half now. And as you can see, there are some wear points down here at the bottom. Uh, that's generally where the muzzle, muzzle will rest. I'm right-handed, so on this side, You'll see right here by the ejection port, uh, that's generally where my belt runs. Uh, that's also a high friction point, so you're going to see some wear there, as well on this side down by the muzzle as well. Uh, depending on how you carry and where you carry, you also may have some wear points around the trigger guard. This is 100% normal. Uh, this is expected. The material is a synthetic rubber, so much like tires on a road, it's going to wear. Now, how fast will it wear down? Much like a car, how do you drive it? So uh, depending on how hard you are on the holster, where you carry, how you carry, your body type, and whether or not you're cleaning your holster regularly will all affect the lifetime of your holster. Normal lifetime of a holster is three to five years. All right, additionally, I'm gonna share with you uh, a tip or two that will get a few more years of life out of your holster. Uh, what I recommend is when you're beginning your day and you're mounting the holster is to leave your belt undone or loose. Go ahead, put the holster and gun inside your waistband and then tighten your belt. You're gonna see the holster wear a lot more um, if you leave your belt tight and try and jam the holster inside your waistband over and over. And especially um, if you're a bigger guy and you carry more towards the back and you put it in, you have to slide it around. Um, that constant sliding motion under that high compression is what's going to wear your holster faster than, uh, than it should.